leftover roast chicken to throw into our pie and now we're going to prepare our vegetables next that we're going to throw into the pie. Guys remember you don't have to use chicken, you can have a vegetarian pie if you want without the chicken and just make a vegetables and mushroom pie, leftover meat, whatever you have. I've gone ahead and cut a, a large onion, some mushrooms, some kale and coriander. You guys can use any vegetables that you like for your chicken and mushroom pie. I've just used what I had in the house. Always have pastry in your fridge guys so when you have leftover chicken you can just quickly cook up a pie and there we go. <laughs> Additionally I'm going to add in some frozen vegetables like peas and maybe some carrots and just see what I have in the fridge. First things first guys, we're going to prepare our pan for baking our pie. We're going to use a bit of spray and cook. We can use oven bake or a bit of butter alternatively. And go ahead and preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, which is about 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and then start preparing your pie. To make your pie, you're going to need about two rolls of puff pastry, or alternatively, you can use a can of Pillsbury pastry. So we're going to roll out our pastry first. bottom layer of your pie so just roll it out according to the size of your pie dish. I've rolled out my pastry and now I'm just going to place this into the pan. This is the first layer of the pie. You guys can also make your own pastry if you want or the easier way is just buying it and keep it in your fridge. So when you do want to make pie it's right there. Now that we've done that, we're going to set this aside and prepare our filling for our pie. Now the fun part begins, we're going to assemble our pie. I'm going to first put a layer of kale, doesn't matter what order you do it in, just assemble it however you like. Some mushrooms, some onion, some coriander, and some chicken. frozen peas which we'll cook in the oven. Frozen corn. And I'm just going to carry on assembling the pie till it's complete. You can throw anything you like in there. I'm going to add in some rosemary and olive spice which is delicious just to give it some flavour and natural salt <laughs> and just continue to do so until you're happy with your pie. I've also got these instant mix-in sauces, a mushroom sauce and cheddar cheese sauce. I might use both of them or just the one to give the pie some juicy, delicious flavour. So just use your favourite instant sauce flavour and throw it in. Or alternatively you could use a soup mix as a sauce. It's just up to you. I'm going to go ahead and prepare my sauces. The pie is complete and now we're just going to season it with some rosemary and olive spice. The last step is putting in the sauce and the pastry. I've just gone ahead and made my mushroom sauce and alternatively you could use a gravy or your own homemade sauce if you want. So I'm just going to pour this throughout the pie. Alternatively leave out the sauce completely and just have a gravy prepared that you could eat with your pie. So let's move on to getting 
pastry rolled up for the top layer. Now that we've prepared our pie, our fillings placed into the pan, we are going to roll out the second and top layer of the pie. Just do the same as you did with the first one. Have pastry in your fridge or make homemade pastry. Guys, this pie is so easy to make and I just thought I'd show you how quick and easy you can put together a nice meal that you could freeze if you want or eat over two days or if you have a large family, it's perfect. You can have anything in your pie. I use leftover roast chicken and mushrooms and all the vegetables that I had in my fridge and you could have a vegetarian pie with mixed vegetables or anything you like. Just have fun with this recipe, it's really easy to make and I'd love to hear what you come up with if you do attempt to make a pie. Let me know in the comments below. Now we're just rolling out our top layer of the pie. Roll that our pastry, this is the top layer. Now I'm just going to put this on top of pie. And then we're going to bake it for about 45 minutes to an hour till it's golden brown and cook thoroughly. I'm just going to move the pastry that I've just rolled out onto the pie. I'm just going to push it in on the sides so it just fits nicely into the pan and it doesn't overlap on the sides. You can even create a little pattern if you like. So it goes nice and golden brown. Alternatively, if you don't have eggs, use milk. Brush over lightly. Before we place it into the oven, I'm just going to make some holes in the pie so the pie can breathe and cook throughout. Just use a knife or a fork. Make little patterns if you like as well. The pie is ready to go into the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour till it's golden brown. It's been about 45 minutes and we've just taken the pie out the oven. It's golden brown and I'm just going to let it set and cool a little bit and then I'm going to cut it up and chow down and just have fun with this recipe i really appreciate you watching guys don't forget to click the bell button when you subscribe so you can be notified for, of all the videos i release and if you want you can buy me a cup of coffee then by donating to my paypal and so i can buy more ingredients for an easy peasy recipe the link is in the description and it's easy as pie follow us on social media links are in the description and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching.